and welcome back to my channel. It is Sweet Sailor Sketches, and today I'm going to be attempting glass painting again. Hopefully it doesn't die like last time's did. Also, this is a collab with Cat Mafia Leader 64. Let's go. I put a post on my community tab saying that when I was transferring some files on a USB drive that some of the footage got lost and around five minutes of this video five minutes an entire five minutes of fully edited music everything gone five minutes and it was all good editing too and I was very proud of it plus you didn't get to see me doing the process of making this so now all you get to see is the painting process so that's really, really freaking depressing, but we're just gonna roll with it, I guess. You guys know I've been having a lot of troubles with my videos lately. <laughs> so if you would like to support me a little bit, you can buy my sticker. It is only $2.50 US, paid through PayPal. Check the description, there will be more info. But if you want to support me so that we can fix this problem, you can buy a sticker from me. We are going to start painting this. I rewatched my glass painting video and I figured out what the problem was. The main problem that I actually had was that I had drawn it well I had drawn the face too small and I didn't have like the right size of marker for it plus the marker I was using was not the right kind so I went out I lol is your finger okay? I got a uh, paint pen, I got new white paint, I got everything new so i think that this should be a lot better than the one i did before i also made their faces bigger so that it wasn't such a small area this is a horimia thing i love horimia hopefully this is gonna work i'm gonna try my best we're just gonna figure this out sorry my dogs are barking let's go i decided i'm going to make another one but this one's just gonna be in black and white it's gonna be a whole bunch easier everyone loves bakugo they should. They better love them. Just sketch this out really quickly, so we're just gonna line it on glass, which sounds weird, but we're gonna do this. Let's go, let's go. Stole this frame from my mom with permission. This frame is like really weak. You can tell that it was spray painted on, but that's fine. We're gonna take the glass out. Hopefully the glass is thin because it's, it's gonna be easier to paint if the glass is really thin because then we can transfer the... <laughs> transfer it easier, like the perfect size. <laughs> All right, well, let's get lining. I sound really, 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 really dead right now. I feel like I say that every single time I do voiceover, but you know, I have really, really bad allergies. Yay! I blame the outside world. <laughs> I started to do the line art for Bakugo, and the reason I actually made this like little extra thing <laughs> was because I had lost the footage for the line art for the Horemia one, plus I lost all of the footage for last week. Still sorry about that. So I just decided I needed to be a little bit extra and, you know, give you some line art for this. I just think it's really satisfying. I really do. I wasn't going to make a really complicated one because, you know, I just wanted to give you the satisfaction of just the line art on glass. It's really fun to do. It's just, I don't know why. It's really satisfying to watch, to do. Overall, I just wanted to do it, so <laughs> I just wanted to show you this. It's really fun to do line art on glass. I don't know why. It's just so smooth. Sometimes there's problems, but if there is, then you can take like a what's it called, like a q-tip and like some nail polish remover. Of course it does take a little bit of time, but you can remove some mistakes. It's it's just, oh, it's so satisfying. I love it. I hope you guys like it too. Otherwise it was kind of pointless to do this buck ago, but you know, he, he turned out okay in the end. I decided to make his eyes the only thing that was colored in this piece because I thought it would make them pop. Like if it was just black and then it was white and then just, you know, red, it would just 
make it look really cool. The one thing I do regret about doing the red eyes is that I forgot to like shade them, like have a maroon color as like a shading point of it, which is really sad. Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I stopped the recording, but you know. His new winter costume, not trying to be weird, but I it, I love it. It is so cute. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just really, really like it. I started watching season five, like, when it was, you know, actually started premiering. You know, ever since I've started watching it, I've been like, yes, Shinso. Yes, I just, ever since the um, sports festival, I've always been like, you know, I really like this character. I hope we get to see more of him. And now that season five is coming out, it's including him. And I really, really like that. So props to them. Love Shinso. So love this new addition. So we're really glad. I'm pretty sure the entire community is just like really glad that Shinso showed up to be honest. Oh my dust! What the hit? Fit in the kiss, I will slap you. Press and hold both ah, volume keys for three seconds to use top back. What are you uh, no no no? If I didn't put it up on the screen already, I'll put up the picture of the reference that I used for this. I flipped the image so that I would be able to, you know, do all the whole glass painting blippy thing, but you know, you don't, you already know the basics of that. If you've seen any sort of glass painting video, you already know the basics of that. One thing that is really, really, really annoying about glass painting is that you have to layer it like a thousand times if you have like a semi-transparent paint, which is what the black was that I used for his mask and for his little collar thing, because it was an apple barrel paint that's not very opaque at least the black that i had it just wasn't it wasn't very opaque and it took a thousand times to layer it i did that so many times off camera like i can't even stress the amount of times that i layered it Ugh, it took forever but you know the only other thing that was actually annoying about this there were only two things that i can mention that make sense first one is the layering and the second one is coloring inside the lines i wasn't able to like flip the thing over because i was recording i didn't want you guys to see how it you know turned out because you know the suspense how did it turn out that stuff so i had to check afterwards and usually i had had already covered an entire area once I had done it and you know some things I was able to fix but coloring outside of the lines was a problem for a lot a lot a lot of it which got really annoying especially for the Horimiya one that I did because it was in color and it was more noticeable but uh, it was really annoying just 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 really annoying yeah, this is basically the end of the process, just filling up the top parts of the hair, layering the white a thousand times. Ugh, that took forever. But yeah, I hope you guys like the process, and then now we're just gonna move on to the Horimiya one. If you are wondering why I have been filming the beginning parts of this like painting process for, you know, both of them in this weird side view, I actually started painting both paintings at the same time and for whatever reason, I didn't really want to film like the regular overhead filming setup that I usually do. So it's different for the beginning on both of them, but you know, it turns to overhead later, so don't worry about that. I would just like to remind you guys that this is a collab. This is a collab. I've done it with someone I've known for a little bit of a while, probably like a few months with Cat Mafia Leader 64. They are a great, great, awesome Awesome, cool, amazing artist, and I love their channel. They do multiple live streams, which usually I can't come to because, you know, school. Stupid school. Um, but their channel will be linked in the description box below. They were actually another factor on why I decided to do Bakugo as my second glass painting, you know, since we both love My Hair Academia. But, you know, back to the glass painting, because, you know, that's what I'm doing now. I started doing the shading and the major highlights first, as recommended from the people who actually know what they're doing and how to glass paint. It is a kind of like a backwards version of everything in regular painting. You trace it backwards, you start with things in the painting that you usually do with last, and when you flip it over the image was reversed you know that kind of stuff for hori's hair <laughs> 
I, I messed up so bad. I tried to do this like weird blending thingy, but you know, let's just, let's just say it didn't work. Do not try and do fancy and blending when you're doing glass painting. Trust me, her hair honestly just looks so blotchy now, it's not even funny. Another annoying thing that happens in our glass painting is that you not only have to mix the right color of paint, but you have to mix a lot of that color, you know, because you know, you have, to, you have to layer it so much. I ended up barely having enough for having like the shading on Mia Murray's cardigan that is goes over his white button-up shirt. I would just like again to apologize about last week's video. There are three reasons why it really sucked. First, as well, you know, well, it didn't get uploaded. <laughs> Second, it was a drawing your OCs video, which means that I was not only just drawing a regular for my own art video stuff, it was someone else's character. Er, it was for someone else. I'm really sad. Third, I really, really, really love drawing your OCs videos, and the editing for that mixed with the excitement that I had for it all got thrown in the trash can. Ugh, so, so sad about that. Back to a more related to this video note. The brown that I used for Corey's hair was about a thousand times thinner than the black um, I, I used for Bakugo's mask and collar thingy. So like, I had to layer it like 10 times and it like barely even looks okay now, but you know, eh, it's fine, it's fine. In general, I do think this turned out great, but the only thing that really bothers me about this is that Corey's hair is like really, really blotchy, but you know, what's done is done. Thank God that I didn't try and do like the same like highlights fancy blending thingy for Miyamura. If I had done that, this entire thing would have been completely destroyed. I just did the regular self shading for him. Thank God I did not do the same thing. Like if I had, this entire thing would have been completely just ruined. <laughs> At least, you know, we got the good Miyamura hair to look forward to. The one thing I can say that turned out almost perfect for this piece is the skin. For some reason, beyond my understanding, the skin turned out great. Like, it looks really smooth, and I think that there are only a few overlaps, you know, like going over the lines where it gets into another section that's supposed to be a different color, but yeah. I hope you guys like seeing this glass painting again. Yeah, I just, eh, I really kind of suck at it, don't I? In the outro, I will be comparing the two I did in this video with the one I did a few months ago. I think I got a whole lot better, but I'm going to save the details for outro me. But yeah, have you watched Horimiya? Tell me in the comments below. I've never heard anyone talk about it. Besides on Instagram a few times, a few pips people have mentioned it. I just, I really love Horimiya. I just think it's a good romance anime. It's a quick short one, but you know, it's really funny. So yeah, if you haven't already, you should go check out that Amine. A Amine. Wow. Wow. But make sure to also check out Cat Mafia Leader. Great person awesome videos, definitely go check them out. There's no reason not to. So yeah, I hope you guys like the way this turned out. I hope you like the process of this and I hope to see you guys next week and let's just go right on to the outro. Right guys, so this, these, these little things, let's flip them over so that you can see what they look like. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Look at them. Yes. You can just see how blotchy her hair is and what I was talking about and how it looked really weird. So glad I didn't do that to Miyamura, but if I had, I would have exploded and died and crashed and burned. So yeah, I think that I did a really good job on Bakugo, but I think that's because it did not have the colors. First of all, you know, except for his eyes, but that was my own choice. I think I had a little bit of a better reference for that because it was more cell shading, I think, if I can remember. Probably not because I have a memory of a goldfish. But this, if I can pick it up. Yes, I can. <laughs> this is the one I did in December. Yeah, I think I did a little better. Just, just a little bit. Just a little better. Um, I think I had the, the right supplies, first of all. Second of all, I just think that the drawing is better overall, because, <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at the difference. Like this one a lot less than I like these, even though there was that huge hair mistake. So, yeah, let me know if you think I've improved, because I think I did. Pikachu's still really cute, though. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to check out Cat Mafia Leader 64 Amazing person. Hope you guys like these. 
If you like this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell to all so you'll be notified every single time I make a new art video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Sunday, 3 p.m. Central Time, U.S. and Canada. See you guys next time. Bye!